Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download iMovie 9.0.9 .9 on an older computer, or in this case it's a iMac, and it has the High Sierra 10.13.6 version in it. And if I try to download from, say, uh, the App Store, now if I click on Get iMovie Install App, this is the error I get. Um, basically kind of encouraging you to update your operating system. Copy the link in the description below, and then paste it, and then hit Download. And once you hit download, you're going to see it drop down to the lower end here. Don't open the folder because we need to actually copy this download to your desktop. So just go ahead and click show in folder. That way this pops up. And now you should see your desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and left click, drag and drop it right on the desktop. Now, we're not going to open it yet. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder on the desktop called iMovie. And we're going to do that by hitting Shift, Command, and then the N button. And that will create an untitled folder. Go ahead and name that folder iMovie. And I'm using a cap or a lowercase i, uppercase m. Um, if if uh, by some chance you can't, you have having trouble naming it. Go ahead and click here again, and until it lets you type into here, and then you can rename it. No worries. So now we're going to open up this. We're going to double click on the iMovie 9.09 .09 update. And we're going to let that run until it until it opens. Okay, so now that it's open, we need to open up a terminal. Don't double click on this yet, because we're not going to do that. So I have terminal here, but you can also get to it from the launch pad. Click on the launch pad and then type in here terminal in the search. If you don't have launch pad readily available, Go ahead to click on the finder. And then in, under applications, go ahead and find the launch pad. And then type in terminal again. And that's those are the ways that you can find the terminal, but in this case, I've already got it open. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the terminal. And so now you should have the terminal open and the iMovie package should, should, should be showing as well. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to type in here. We're going to type in package utility, but it's abbreviated. So we're going to type PKG. U-T-I-L space slash slash expand space and then we're going to just drag this file right in here and it's already spaced so we don't have to put any more spaces in here so now we're going to click on the iMovie folder don't don't worry about the saying no items underneath there. Just left click on the iMovie folder and we're going to drag that right in here as well and let and just let go. Left click, drag and let go. Now we have backspace one. We're going to put a forward slash and then we're going to type iMovie again in here. <clears throat> and then we're going to hit enter. Now don't worry because um I'm going to have all this written down in the description below. So if I got a little wonky and confusing and said something wrong, I'll make sure that it's correct in the description so that you can easily follow along. And once this is complete, you're going to see that um, you're going to be able to type 
in here again and it it might take a little bit it's it won't take too long but i'm going to pause it until it's done and there you go once that's complete we can go ahead and just close this because everything's pretty much done now so we can well not everything we just have a small bit to do and it's pretty easy so now we are going to go into the iMovie folder double click on it and then we're going to double click iMovie again and then we're going to go ahead and highlight the iMovie 9.09 .09 folder the update folder and then we're going to go here up in the top click this and then we're going to go ahead and show package content and then we're going to click on payload and then we're going to do the same click click the arrow here and this time we're going to do get info so if you don't see the um, name and extension showing go ahead and click the arrow so you can see the word payload and then now you're just going to type dot zip and then we're just going to go up here and we're going to hit the x and after you do that you're going to see this dialog box go ahead and just click the add button now you should see payload.zip now we're just going to double click that folder and as soon as that's complete it's going to create another folder called payload 2. you see payload 2 go ahead and double click that and then double click the applications folder and you'll see iMovie so what I like to do is I just like to move this to the desktop I just run it from the desktop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this folder now so now that we've done this you technically don't need the iMovie 9 update folder so you can just drag that and drop it into the trash and the iMovie 9.9 .9, um, you can also take and drop that in the trash so you should just have the iMovie folder and the iMovie 9. so i'm going to go ahead and double click this and run it just to show you that it actually works no use that of having you do something and then uh, not showing you that that actually functions well i mean and and literally this is it's pretty easy to do it's more time consuming than anything so we're almost 10 minutes into it um and i paused it to to let it run but as you can see i had this installed before and <clears throat> I imported a uh, a folder, and it's working pretty good. We've got crazy dinosaur here, but but anyways, um, if you want to know how to import, you can just click File, um, Import, and I did Movie, but you can do it from camera. You can do it from anything you want, but that's pretty much it. Um, you can if you if you don't like to have this on your desktop i imagine you probably could open up the finder go to applications you could um you could move the iMovie into here and you could i believe you still should be able to i mean if you if you wanted to run this from here i, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't run but we'll test it just to make sure and as you can see it still works but if you have any questions or you have any trouble let me know um but it, it appears to be functioning correctly and um i'd be curious to hear um your thoughts so please like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night.